Kim is back, yay. Again, <laughs> thank you. To show us yet more creative ways for scrapbooking. So thinking outside of the box, today she's gonna to be showing us using pocket pages, which are just a, a huge trend in scrapbooking right now. She's gonna show us a little bit of a different way to think out of the box to incorporate these pages into uh, I, not I, necessarily what they were meant for entirely. Yeah, yeah. I love pocket pages. I love the product that is sold with pocket pages. Yes. I don't love the concept of doing a weekly it's time tricky. frame. I don't have the time for that. Yeah, to do it. So, so you're going to show us here. I'm going to show the yeah. example. We'll put that out. So I've tried to incorporate into my everyday way of scrapbooking, which typically is non-chronological and event. It's whatever it's inspires whatever want you when you sit down. Yes. So the page pocket itself is, is this. This is what we're talking about. It comes in little, right. little segments like that. So this one is put out by Creative Memories and their pockets are six by four. Okay. So it's perfect for adding more pictures into a layout that you want to right. have more images. So on this side here, I did kind of more of the artistic, bring in some techniques, how I would typically scrapbook. Well, you've got a 12 by 12 traditional layout right alongside brought your... in some more pictures right. and then I like to my next layout that I do here I'll work off of an orange page right so that visually everything flows together and you could go ahead and do make this a you know scrap put I, more stuff exactly. in exactly right. I could keep going with the same event I had a hard easily. time finding my words but yes finding putting more stuff to scrap I understand okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> we've been working together for a long time I don't need to finish my sentences these are gorgeous photos, by the way. Look at this. Where was this? I'm sorry. I'm, I have to know. This, this was in Nova Scotia no, they, in the fall. They have the biggest pumpkins. Big pumpkins. Big pumpkins. It, we happened to be there during Harvest Festival. So you, you it's got all, these beautiful photos. It's a pumpkin photos. page, right? Love it. Uh, pattern paper, is this also from Creative Memories? Also from Creative Memories, as are the journaling blocks that I've used. Oh, yes, because they actually come in a sheet. Or in a little package like this, right? Right, right. A whole bunch of them. And they all, you know, like all of the products that you can buy, everything matches color-wise, product-wise. Yeah. They yeah. play nicely together. Right. Um, and this is their album as well. This, this is, is their that album as well, yes. album And they lay nice and flat. That they're famous for, yes. Okay, Kim, show us what you did here with this chipboard. I think this chipboard's from Fab Scraps? Fab Scraps chipboard. Okay, so I'll move this I've out of the way for you. the chameleon markers on it and the nice thing about using the chameleon alcohol markers is they dry fast so a watercolor would just keep absorbing until it dries on the chipboard the chameleon markers dry fast and so you get a nice true color color so I just thought I would show it yeah, on this piece of chipboard here. Yeah, give us a little here. demo of what you did there. Fab Scraps has tons of wonderful words and Sort of page titles and actually they yeah. have a lot of different shapes out there. Okay, so, so now you're for going this, to... this, I'm not really using the toner part of the chameleon. I'm really not looking for a gradient color. I just want vibrant color. No blending, color. you just want the strong yeah. color. And just don't... So no fusing. Don't be afraid to go slow and let the product just kind oh, of Oh, it just, I can out. see it soaking into the chipboard. It's wonderful, but it's soaking in and drying. That's the difference. It's not wet. It's not yeah. wet, so it doesn't continue to absorb. And you know, try to kind of think where that line's going to end. And I think, again, this is also thinking outside of the box with your chameleon pens. Uh, you don't have to just blend with them. They're, they're meant no. to blend, but you don't have to do that. You're all, now you're using it in you a different way that they're meant. You don't have to be an artist to use yes. them. You can have fun with them just kind of on an everyday need. Now, another spot that you used the chameleon pens is right here on this pumpkin in the traditional form that it was. Right, so again, it's taking one of their products making it my own right, by this adding is that a journaling stamp to it. Card. Is that what they're called? It's one of the journaling cards from this collection here. Okay. I've stamped on it. And what it, what is that? That's Oh, that's an Impression Obsession stamp. Impression Obsession. And for the pumpkin, I did use the toner and blend the colors a little bit more okay. so you get that light to dark. Light to dark. Um, this was three colors. Beautiful. You know, so you can have it look like you've used five, six, seven colors with three markers. Well, you look like a professional markers. colorer right there on that well, pumpkin. 
trust me, I'm not. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and another, one other oh, thing yes. I might add is Chameleon Pens comes with a really awesome journaling marker as well. Oh, okay. So it's a nice fine tip, great for writing. Awesome. And, yeah. I didn't know that. Well, thank you, Kim. Thank you. Take your pocket pages and make them your own. Do what you will with them.